One of the things that I love about my first Apple expedition so much is that I came home a lot more confident than I was. And just going out there and getting hands-on experience and you know, getting feedback from staff members or getting to assist worked absolute wonders in my life. I learned 10 times more on Apple expeditions than I ever have in the classroom. I highly recommend it. El proyecto de Opal ha sido muy bueno. Ha ido creciendo, creciendo en trabajo y más que todo lo económico y más que todo lo, lo, lo que se ha ido dando cuenta uno de lo importante que tiene uno alrededor de lo que es el bosque, de lo que es las fuentes de agua. Entonces, bastantes personas de Buenos Aires eh, tal vez no teníamos ese conocimiento de las riquezas que tal vez nosotros teníamos muy cerca de nosotros, el patrimonio que tenemos y algunas personas eh, tal vez como queriendo destruir porque algunas personas querían como botar bosque, eh, tal vez donde nacen las fuentes de agua, eh, querían bot eh, botaban árboles. Entonces por medio del proyecto venían personas con conocimiento y, y, y le decían a uno el bien que para uno y el mal que podía perjudicar con lo que uno, con las actitudes que uno podía hacer. Bueno, para mí, eh, el proyecto de Oswald, para mí y mi familia, ha sido muy bueno. Y para todo lo que es la comunidad de Buenos Aires, porque cuando el proyecto viene o ha venido, hola, hola. Eh, casi todo lo que es Buenos Aires eh, se ha beneficiado, es beneficiado de una y de otra manera con eh, trabajo de guía, de mochilero, eh, bueno, de, de, de varias funciones que hay cuando el proyecto está en nuestra aldea. Honduras seemed like um, a really interesting place to visit because of the terrestrial site in Cusuco. They had various different types of amphibians and reptiles that I was interested in. And they also had several different marine sites where you could learn how to dive and explore some reefs. So it kind of gave me the whole, whole package and an, and an opportunity to come and explore nature and do science at the same time. I've been leading up world groups to Honduras since 2009 and uh, we just keep coming back again and again and again because the feedback from the students is so positive. I think for me the best bit about the whole jungle side of the expeditions is they're very much living the same genuine experience that the scientists in the jungle do. We're surrounded by herpetologists, ornithologists, bat experts, people doing mist netting, people doing transects and you just see stuff because you're the world experts at finding those sorts of organisms. The most exciting thing I think for many students is, is twofold. There's the opportunity to do a canopy access experience. That's fantastic. Uh, they get to climb up ropes with the same camera team who, uh, who helped winch up David Attenborough into the jungle in episodes like Planet Earth 2 and so forth. But also they, it's quite physically demanding and, and they love that combination of excitement and, and demand. Sensational. <laughs> Pretty scary as well, but we made it up. The other thing that's lovely is you get the opportunity to visit a satellite camp and they are so isolated and it's just awe-inspiring to see the degree of dedication that these scientists have to put into even often quite small studies. It's really eye-opening. I think the other thing that's eye-opening for the students is, is just what a contribution they make to the research. I mean obviously their individual bit is quite small. Uh, but when you see it collectively added together and you then see a paper that's published on the front page of Nature or something like that, you realise that this is having a significant impact. And I have so many kids coming out saying, so that was tough, but it was the best week of my life so far. And then they come to the islands. Then they come to Utila. It's very Caribbean in, in culture, but it's quite different to the other Caribbean islands. It's very much close to the coast of Honduras. It's one of three bay islands that Honduras has. And it's part of the American, uh, the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef. And it's the most fantastic set of reefs to, to see, uh, to learn to do paddy courses on. They really have a great time, but they really do something positive to support the natural world as well. So I thoroughly recommend Opwall Expeditions to you. Do join one and have a great time. The reefs are amazing, They're in, especially here in Tila Bay. It's about 80% coral coverage, so there's a lot to see. The reefs are absolutely amazing. 
I'd say that if you love the beach, if you love being in the sea, this is exactly the place for you. The complexity of the reefs, I think, are a little bit different here and, you know, not many people have been able to see them, so it's quite special to be able to say that I have been here and I've been able to personally see them and get a special experience from it. But then also Utila has amazing reefs and um, a lot more fish populations, I think. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to seeing that side of things as well. Yeah, <laughs> I would say it's been an amazing experience for me. So I think for anybody, it would be great. And even if it's, you know, just coming out of your shell and trying diving for the first time, doing your open water course or just meeting new people and, you know, having conversations with people and getting ideas for future traveling and stuff, that's what I've been doing. Then I think that that's what you'll get from this trip for sure. So. Yeah, it's been special. Yeah, well, especially if you're a person that lives in the city, it's important for you to know that you should come into nature, come into the jungle, get your hands dirty, come explore the reefs, uh, come see it for yourself. And uh, I feel like if you do that, you'll be more in touch with nature and you'll be more in touch with yourself and you'll appreciate the natural world a lot more.